Hello dear fans. What is an encyclopedia? A man of encyclopedic knowledge, a walking encyclopedia, this is how they respectfully speak of a highly educated expert generalist, appreciating his outstanding erudition and broad outlook. Erudites are not born. Respect for books, for popular science literature, and especially for dictionaries, reference books, encyclopedias is commendable and often vital. Translated from the Greek, the roots of the word encyclopedia, in Kiklios Paideia, mean general education. The most popular interpretation of the term is as follows. It is a reference publication containing information on all branches of knowledge or covering a specific branch. The information in such a book is arranged in alphabetical, thematic or alphabetical thematic order. The desire to classify the accumulated knowledge arose among people in ancient times. Terminological descriptions in ancient Egypt, works of the universal character of Democritus and Aristotle became the prototypes of modern encyclopedias. In Western Europe in the Middle Ages, they tried to publish systematic encyclopedias in the form of reviews, sums, dictionaries, glossaries. Among the most famous French publications is called the Encyclopedia, or Explanatory Dictionary of Sciences, Arts and Crafts, published in 1751 to 1780. Its compilers all over the world began to be called encyclopedists. In 18th century Germany, a 68-volume encyclopedia called the Great Complete Universal Lexicon of All Sciences and Arts was in demand. It was published by the bookseller from Leipzig I.G. Zedler. In the English book market of the next century, Stolichnaya and National Encyclopedia became popular. In America, since 1950, Collier's Encyclopedia, which has been constantly supplemented, has gained popularity, the materials of which are actively used in the field of education in the development of educational programs. In Russia, the first types of encyclopedias are considered to be the ABC books of the Moscow state of the 16th-early 17th centuries in which not only church, but also geographical, historical, literary, and other concepts of the surrounding world. Later, the legal dictionary, geographical dictionary of the Russian state, rural clinic, or dictionary of medicine and a number of others were published. Then came the dictionary of memorable people of the Russian land, military encyclopedic lexicon, desktop dictionary for references on all branches of knowledge. The famous 82-volume Encyclopedic Dictionary, compiled by F. A. Brockhaus and I. A. Efron, dates from 1890 to 1907. Its circulation was estimated at 30,000 copies. The Encyclopedic Dictionary of the Granat Brothers was also in demand in Russia. The event was the Great Soviet Encyclopedia, published in the 20th 40s of the XX century. It was reprinted twice. In 1949 to 1958 and 1969 to 1978. Most of the reference, non political, non ideological, information of these publications is scrupulously verified, reliable, and is still valuable today. All modern encyclopedias, according to the specific features of the coverage of the material, are traditionally divided into universal, sectoral, and regional. There are also thematic, for example, for construction or floriculture, problematic, for example, there is the French Encyclopedia of Satan, a collection of literary works, which touches on the topic of the devil, personal, domestic Lermontov Encyclopedia, Italian, Dante. Numerous technical, medical, historical, theatrical, musical and many other encyclopedias enjoy a good reputation among specialists and a wide range of readers. The publishers purposefully take care of clarifying the readers' addresses of their books. Special volumes are issued for women, the elderly, children, and for family reading. Information in encyclopedias for each position can be extremely compressed to a short reference or, conversely, expanded to the form of a fictionalized essay. A book that has no end this is how the encyclopedia is justly and accurately called, a useful scientific and practical manual written for centuries. Thanks for watching.